Welcome back. If you wanted to wager on a big game today and you live in Alabama, well, you couldn't, at least legally. Yeah, so what's the chances of that changing? Fox News' Brendan Kirby with the story. If you attended this year's Super Bowl, you could have bet on the game inside the stadium. That's the first time ever as gambling expands across the country, but not in Alabama. And a touchdown for Sanders! In Alabama, sports betting remains illegal, along with most other forms of gambling. But that doesn't mean Alabamians aren't wagering on sports. Right here on your phone, you can do the betting, you can do enter into that uh, uh, participation at any time. And that's not just with the Super Bowl, but with any other uh, sports activity. Taking the place in Alabama. That's State Senator Greg Albritton, who's led the effort to legalize sports betting as part of a comprehensive plan that includes casinos and a lottery. But legislation he sponsored the past couple of years has failed to get through the House. And with comments by new House Speaker Nathaniel Ledbetter, Senator Albritton says he's not sure if he'll try again this year. State Representative Chris Pringle, a lawmaker for Mobile who's the number two Republican in the House, tells me he expects legislation this year. But it's unclear if it can pass. He says it's been hard finding consensus among competing interests that include the Porch Band of Creek Indians, existing electronic bingo halls, and the dog tracks that want gambling. A study group appointed a few years ago by Governor Kay Ivey estimated that sports betting would bring in between $6 and $32 million a year to the state. An Oxford economic study estimated more than a million Alabama residents illegally bet some $2.3 billion a year on sports. It was a good group of people to be assigned. Former Mobile County Sheriff Sam Cochran, who served on the state's gambling study group, says all that gambling currently goes untaxed and unregulated. And the state, in my opinion, is missing the ball. I mean, just missing it because there's plenty of sports gambling going on. There's plenty of gambling going on. Alabama has always had one of the highest per capita sports betting, and, and that's been shown in, in study after study. Mobile residents have a range of opinions on the topic. Judy Lemon says she's against legalized betting, while Stephen Smoke says he'd spend more here that's going out of state now. Going to the casinos and, and Biloxi and stuff, it's a, it's a big deal over there, and it generates a lot of revenue. I think it should be illegal. You think it should be illegal? Yes. I don't agree with it. A spokesman who in the past has represented the creek-owned Mobile Greyhound Park and other dog tracks says it's premature to comment on possible legislation. Some gambling opponents argue the social harm of gambling outweighs the tax gains. Les Burnell of Stop Predatory Gambling calls sports betting, quote, gambling's version of fentanyl. This is Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News. And we reached out to the Porch Band of Creek Indians for comment, and they sent us the following statement, quote, Wind Creek Hospitality has always supported a comprehensive gaming bill, which would include table games, sports betting, and lottery.